idiots. Just a bunch of mindless pussy ass fucks. These Democrats be like, ah, fuck you! Idiots. Fuck you! That's what all the Dems be like. <laughs> ah, shit. It's time to stop! No! The bowling program that you're about to see is based on actual real-life events that may prove too damning for politically correct audiences. If you're going to be offended by any of what you'll see shortly, then WHAT THE HELL ARE YOU DOING ON MY CHANNEL?! Nonetheless, the following is purely for educational, informational, and comedic purposes only. In other words, don't be a stupid shillery, okay? Be a trumpeter. Gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Scully Goes Wide. I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson. Sorry for the long ass intro, and I'm gonna cut to the chase. There was a recent Looney Tunes bloopers episode that was released by a very respected, long tenured expert in logo bloopers, and also the man who invented the logo bloopers franchise. His name is David N. Matson, also known by his current YouTube username, Dave Matson. Dave Matson. Here is episode 151 of his Looney Tunes blooper series entitled Blooper Tensions. And I'm going to react to this live. So, in case you guys haven't figured that out, now you know. Roll that beautiful bean footage! Thanks a lot for that, Dave. Much appreciated. It's hump day. This is crazy. Oh boy. Shield's gonna take him literally again. Oh man. Well, that sucks. <laughs> the shield takes him literally again. The hell? Oh man, this is crazy. God. Oh. Now he gets his come up as the Well, thank God they brought him back. I mean, Werner Brothers. Obviously, because you can't have a reason without a rhyme, right? Well, now they, they cut the sound on. The fuck? Not lame. You're gonna get it, man. Oh, here we go again. Oh! <laughs> Damn, bruh! 
That's a mighty big swerve that time, huh? Shit. <laughs> Lol, KM. That's the ring name of someone from Impact Wrestling. Lol. Uh... Really? Ugh! Damn. I agree, that joke was lame. But it didn't mean it was not funny. Oh, sh here we go. Here we go. Sierra's probably going to have to zap him out of his trance. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Now before I before I continue this video, keep in mind this is like the 75,000th seventh time that he's made a tantrum over a decision that was overridden by Dave and Wally. Not that it matters, but hey. Roll that money ran beautiful bean footage! Damn. Stuck in his old ways. Well. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. How fitting is that? Obviously. Yeah! Oh my god. What is this? Punctures, okay. Duh. <laughs> flat tire. You gotta hate those flat tires! Are the old ball game? Oh boy. The pissed off pea head and the double headed pea head again. Oh boy. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer in the flesh. Oh boy. She doesn't take shit from no one. Oh boy. Boom! And down they go! Straight down the hell they go! Oh boy. Oh boy. This isn't good. Damn. Oh boy. Ugh. There he is again. Hmm. 
Satan himself. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. boy. Well. She's going to flip out now. A rare tantrum from a demon. Damn. Anyone else notice the major tone here? G major? Yeah, that's that's a that's a joke. Not that I should Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> yeah! She screams that she's a biased god, but she's smiling. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's becoming a running joke now, isn't it? Yeah. No shit. Thank God. Oh shit. Oh boy. L let me guess what what's gonna happen again? Oh, that. Of course. Obviously. That never gets old. Ever. <laughs> I don't think anybody did it. Could have been Sam or Dave. Well, you don't can say, huh? Yeah. Sure. Betty Bombers. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. And some epic music feedback to close the episode, huh? Yeah. I swear I heard one of his compositions on, on YouTube just the other day. Pretty damn fine tune as well. I mean, you certainly can't. I mean, genuine talent this guy has. He's a musician, a composer, a filmmaker, an animator, and a logo bloopers god all at once. He's basically me, but 20 or 30 years older. I don't know. Hell if I care. Dreamscape Drive. Yeah, man. Damn good title for a song. Yeah. Another end to a really good episode, man. You simply cannot ask for much more than that. Hmm. What season is this show on now? Eight? I think it's on its eighth season. Yeah, it's pretty much, I think it's on its eighth season. Or at least I would think anyway. I don't know much, but I at least know that. 
Yeah. Cutie and Chaw again! Hey! Yeah, but I like how we improvised the Warner Brothers Looney Tunes theme from 1964 to 1965. That's actually, honestly, for an, improvisa for an improvisation, it's actually pretty damn nice. Yeah. And that's going to conclude it for this part of Scully Goes Wide. Now for the next part. See if you can stomach your way out of this. Time now for our cringe moment of the day! <laughs> As you know, I am aware that a user that I have recently discovered on YouTube named Nexpo has explained to me very vividly the translate gate that is going on all over Google's particular translate website. So. What I've heard about it is that, for some odd reason, for any reason known to man, right? People put in random one to three letter fragments of words or something like that, and they end up getting weird, really random, and otherwise unfathomable responses just by these strange and unusual ways of communication. Let's get to it now. Shall we? Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just translate Japanese first. I don't speak Japanese obviously. I'm I my English is obviously my first language because I was born in America. Wow, <laughs> this is, this is weird. What if we translate from German? What do we get out of that? What if we just, what if we translate from German? Huh. That is weird. All right, let's. The common favorite among translate gators, I believe, would be Somali. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I just discovered a new way to communicate with Google. This is... Okay. So I, I, I typed in this random repeated word, this two-letter repeated word, and it says from Somali, whether or not I am, am or or, or whatever I am, or or whether or not. Let's let's just let's keep going with this. I like where this is going. Oh my god. Whether or not I am or am or or whether I am or am or am or 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 whether. Okay, let's let's try something new. Okay, let's let's try something new. All right, let's try something new, okay? All right. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah. So I tried using the letters K and O 
and I get this response. Arrow, 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 okay. This is crazy. Why don't, why don't we just continue with this, all right? Why, why don't we just, yeah, let's just continue with this. Wow, oh my God. Wow, okay. Arrow, 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 arrow. Background, science, and nature. Arrow, nature, arrow, nature, arrow, okay, arrow, okay. Oh my God. Mm. I'm hung to see where this leads me from here. Wow. Oh my God, this is crazy. Now it adds a new word in there, button. Oh my god, what? <laughs> a new, whoa, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Now it's got the word texture in there. Oh my god. Let's, let's add another two letter word in there, right? Oh. Now it adds the word council or capsule. Now it adds the word core and causes. This is this is a new one, man. I I can't. Okay, let's let's try let's try something else. Let's try something else. Okay, two more letters, right? Wow. Okay, the first translation if you just caught it, do not let it go. The second one you're looking at now you do not have to worry about it. How crazy is that? To think that, that I could just... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, and all I had to do was watch a next poll video. I'm definitely subscribing to that channel because that translate gate theory that this guy comes up with on, the, on one of his latest videos, that is absolutely, I can absolutely prove to you, that is 100% legitimate. If we're talking about deal or dud, this one would definitely be a deal, no dud. Let's, 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 let's continue with this. Oh man. Do not allow yourself to be safe, what? Oh, oh my god. And then now what? Do not allow them to be saved. This is, um, wow. Make sure you do not have enough heat. Crazy. This is crazy. Make it easy. Okay, now it's just. <laughs> Okay, make it easy for you. Okay, now what? Now what? Make it easy for you to play. Play what? Strong guy or goy? What in the hell kind of game is that? I've never heard of a game called Strong Guy or Goy. The fuck? We can do our best to make your gaming gear. Oh my god. I'm I'm gonna have fun with this one. Okay. Oh man. Mm. Make your day to day playful playgrounds. Oh man. I'm telling you people, this is absolutely balls off the wall crazy. Man, this is 
Make sure you do not have to be able to save your home. Improve gaming ability to increase the quality of your life. I guess that's why I play Bejeweled Blitz, obviously. Make sure you do not have enough heat to make sure you do not have enough heat. That makes sense. Make sure you do not make any mistakes you want to make. I guess the need transcends the want, doesn't it? Oh, man. Make sure you do not have enough heat to make sure you do not get rid of it. Where am I going to go with this from here? Make sure you do not allow your child to be able to play with a dyed blade? What the hell is this? Make sure that you not have to make sure that you have enough heat. That, that's um, not new. Make sure that you not allow your child to be able to play without any risk. Oh my god. Parenting 101. Make sure you do not have to make sure that you do not allow your child to get better. Again, Parenting 101. Make sure you do not have to make a long wait for your child to get better. Oh, of course, because obviously that's a healing process. That's a redemption process, isn't it? Also, that's the name of... Let's just, let's get to it, okay? Let's, let's keep going with this. Do not allow your child to be able to play without the help of your teens. Okay, this, this... Make sure you do not allow your child to be able to make a bigger... Blows? I guess they're talking about Shirley Temple and the baby burlesque thing that was popular back in the 30s and 40s and such. Because child paranophia, child pedophilia was a thing back then. It still is now, they just keep it under wraps. Hence my, one of my more recent documentaries, Hollywood Shithole, A Land of Pedophiles. Go check that out sometime. I'll provide you with the link for it in my description. Oh, man. Do not allow your child to be able to play without the help of your child. Um, it's dirty! What? Giggle. Hmm. Glycated glycol. Mm. Weight loss is very high? Yeah, I, I can imagine that would be the case considering I was on a diet for nine months and I went from an 182 pounds to about 140. So that's about 23% of my weight loss right there. Then I gained it all back and then some, obviously. Make sure your hair is dry. 
translate from Welsh? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Make sure your hair is covered. Like, like with a baseball cap or a toboggan or a beret or whatever the hell. Do not forget to wear your hair. Oh, because because Pat Sajak wears a toupee, obviously. Wow. Make sure your hair is too thick. Um, what? Make sure your hair is covered by the skin. Now, now this is just... This is... This is Suspiria levels of creepy right here. Make sure your baby is ready for work. I, I'm guessing you're talking about oneself's own wife or something like that. Or maybe it's talking about that scene in one of those movies that talk about something that I'm obviously not going to discuss here or mention, although I technically may have already have. Wow, this is... This is absolutely god awfully insane. This is this is this is a special kind of insane. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Scully Goes Wide. I've been Kevin the Skull Anderson. You've been my fellow loyal YouTubers and subscribers. New videos coming very soon, I hope. So have a nice day and God bless you all. If you don't like that. Piss off and good night. Stop the hammering!